Now we continue with your spirit, a look at spirituality in the modern world. There are many ways to help children find a better path in life. The Hope Center in Jersey City is using the fine arts to empower kids towards a brighter future. The organization was created in part by Pastor Mario Gonzalez. I recently talked to him about the project. Pastor, good morning. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Tell me more about the Hope Center. What's the focus there? Well, the, uh, the idea is to sensitize uh, young people to art at an early age and empower them. A lot of the, the, the issues involved in urban youth is this, this whole thing about disillusionment and, and uh, really not having a, self, a sense of self. So what we do is that um, we familiarize young people with art at an early age, but not just art, you know, crayons and stuff like that, right. but with a genuine article um, so that they can um, become part of it, become familiar with it, and, uh, and get to appreciate it, and hopefully uh, learn to express themselves uh, through this form. And that's the empowerment right there, I guess, the self-expression. That's right, because there's a lot of stuff inside that, that child that, that needs to be expressed, and there's something inside of them that wants to express that. One of the earliest things that you, that you see with children is that they'll take a crayon and they'll, they'll write on your wall. So sure. there's something inside of them that wants to come out. And what, we, what we, need, we aim to do at the Hope Center is to identify this and then to allow that child to, to learn how to express it. And we do it through, uh, through mentoring and providing them with exposure mm -hmm. to people whose lives are art. Now you have a fundraising event coming up, Young at Art. Oh, yeah. Great name. Tell me about that. That's exciting. Um, we have our, our curator, Robert Costa. He's uh, gathered together all 45 of the finest artists in the Northeast. Uh, people, our, our featured artist is Duda Pentiado, who is also our director of fine arts. We have Orlando Cuevas, which is a native Jersey City um, artist. His, his art is incredible. We have guys like Mike Bidlow, Tom Otterness. Like we, 45 artists. Enough. 45. How do you get so many? Well, uh, you put together a good event for a good cause, and, uh, and they will come. They will you come. It, they will come, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Let's take a look at some of them. You mentioned both these men. Duda Penteado. Yes. Tell me some about him. Great artist. He's a Brazilian uh, artist. Uh, he is a director of fine arts for the Academy. Um, his work is, uh, is, is very eclectic. It's uh, fresh, new. It's a modern kind of a view of, of the world. Mm -hmm. um, and it's uh, it's really colorful and, and beautiful. And Orlando Cuevas, he is uh, he is an urban. Uh, I, I would describe his art as as whimsical and eclectic, sort of an urban view of the world. Uh, and he does a lot of sculptures and a lot of um, uh, work in different kind of media. Mm -hmm. And it's very very uh, very fresh, very new. Now, where is the Hope Center actually located? Well, right now we're uh, operating the Hope Center out of three locations uh, in Jersey City. Right. Um, uh, we have the, the fine arts work where we're doing the fine arts um, um, presentation mm -hmm. over at the Morgan Industrial Center. We have a school that we're using uh, to teach, and we have another um, uh, place that we have up in the Jersey City Heights where we're uh, teaching dance. Right. So it's not just about art, it's also about music and, and, and dance, performing arts. Right. And what about your church? The Church Calvary Assembly of God. Um, it's, a, it's a powerful church up in Jersey City Heights. Mm -hmm. um, again, our emphasis is very, uh, we have a younger a crowd, a very lively music, and um, we're, we're very involved in uh, community affairs and things that, that build up the community because we believe that church is not, we have to make church relevant. That's the whole thing. Church has sort of gotten itself out of the mainstream, right. and we believe that it, if you're going to be light, you need to be light in darkness, mm -hmm. not hide that light. Well, Pastor Mario Gonzalez, thanks for coming in and uh, continued success. Thank you very much. Appreciate that.